Welcome to this week's what's for dinner video. My name is Ashley. I'm going to be showing you three different meals I made this past week. I don't always follow recipes exactly, but if you're interested, I've linked some similar recipes down below. The first dinner I'm going to be showing you, we made some pesto chicken pizza. This is like one of my favorite pizzas to make homemade. So I'm just going to get the vegetables chopped up. I'm going to first work on the red onion, chop up a bunch of slices, and then I will work on the fresh jalapenos. I personally love fresh jalapenos more over pickled jalapenos. However, my husband loves pickled jalapenos. Instead, we just didn't have any on hand. So once all the toppings were chopped up, I just set them aside. Next, I'm going to work on my chicken. I just used one large chicken breast for this, and this worked perfectly for our two mini pizzas. So I'm just going to take that chicken breast and cut them up into small bite-sized pieces. You can totally use any type of topping for this. Pesto chicken pizza is one of my favorite pizzas though. Once the chicken was all chopped up, I'm just going to work on cooking it. So I just drizzled a little bit of olive oil in a pan. I have that on medium and next I'm just going to drop the chicken in and season with some of my favorite seasonings. I use Montreal chicken seasoning, Cajun seasoning, garlic powder. So even though this will be going into the oven, I do want to cook my chicken all the way cooked through just to have no issues. I really wanted my chicken nice and seasoned, so I'm just going to add a little bit more Montreal chicken seasoning. Next, we are just going to begin assembling the mini pizza. So this just came in a pack of two and it worked perfectly fine for us. I'm just going to take some of our favorite pesto and just spread that on the pizza crust. Next, I'm just going to top the pizzas with some cheese. I just have Monterey Jack cheese in our fridge, so I'm just going to use that. It works perfectly fine. We actually love a lot of cheese as well. Next, I'm going to layer all the toppings. I'm going to layer some chicken. I'm going to use a lot of chicken and just use up what we had, and then I will layer the onions and jalapenos. We love a lot of toppings. We love our pizza to be nice and filled. Then this just went in the oven at 400 degrees until everything was nice and browned. This is how everything looked when it was done. So, so good. I can still just taste this. The next dinner I'm going to be showing you is a tried and true for me. It is my Cajun chicken pasta. I'm just going to start off with my chicken breast again. I'm just going to take a large chicken breast. This worked fine for the amount of pasta that I made and I'm just going to cut these up into small bite-sized pieces, a little bit smaller I would say than the pizza. My Cajun chicken pasta is truly my favorite pasta that I make ever. It was actually based around the Red Lobster Cajun chicken linguine and that's where I get my inspiration from. 
Once the chicken is all cut up, I'm just gonna do the same thing and cook the chicken in my pan with a little bit of oil. I'm going to season this time with a bunch of Cajun seasoning, some garlic powder, and some smoked paprika. So I just have my pan set on medium high and I'm just going to cook the chicken until it is all the way cooked through. I love the smell of chicken cooking with some yummy seasoning. Once the chicken was done, I just went ahead and removed it to a clean bowl. Next, I'm going to work on the Cajun sauce. I just melted a little bit of butter in the pan with all the leftover seasonings. I'm going to let that melt down. So next I'm going to add in my heavy whipping cream. Again, I don't measure anything. I just knew that I was making half a box of pasta, so I made enough for that. Next, of course, I'm going to work on seasoning my sauce. So again, I'm just gonna use a lot of the Cajun seasoning that I'm using. I'm going to add in some dried parsley flakes. At this point I did turn my pan up to like a four or a five. You do want to get this simmering but not too like boiling and burning. I'm going to add a little bit of black pepper. At this point you can definitely start taste testing and I knew that I needed more Cajun seasoning for flavor. Once this was nice and hot, I went ahead and added in my Parmesan cheese. I'm just using the canned version. You can use fresh if you prefer. Next, I added in my chicken to the sauce mixture and kind of just mix that around. Next, I'm going to drain my pasta noodles. I think I just used spaghetti for this and I'm just going to add that into this pan. Lastly, you are just gonna mix this all together. I didn't reserve any pasta water, so I didn't need to add that to this, but if you do need to thin it out, pasta water does work. So I just finished mixing this all together and then I cooked a piece of garlic bread. This is how everything looked when it was done. Definitely one of my favorite dinners. That I make. The last dinner I'm going to be showing you, I needed something quick and easy, so I made the Trader Joe's orange chicken, which is one of our favorites. I'm just starting off by getting this in the oven. I have my oven set on about 400 degrees. I like to get these nice and crisp, so I'm just going to place that in there until they're nice and brown. Then I will work on my broccoli. So once I got my broccoli to slightly unthaw, I'm just going to season. I'm going to drizzle a little bit of olive oil and some garlic salt on. And of course, you need to give this a nice toss. Once the chicken was almost ready to come out of the oven, I just went ahead and got my sauce packets warmed up. I'm just going to dump these on my pan. A pan set on about medium low just to get this nice and hot. Once the chicken was done, I just took that and dumped that into that sauce and I'm just going to mix it all together. The Trader Joe's orange chicken is definitely one of our favorite, if not our favorite frozen dinner meal. So then I just made our plates. I had some broccoli, white rice, and then with the orange chicken. This is how everything looked when it was done. Absolutely love this meal. Thank you so much for watching this week's What's For Dinner video. Make sure you come back next week for another one.